Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're given a triangle and we're told that the base is six centimeters longer than the height. And we're also told that the area of the triangle is equal to 90 square centimeters. And they ask us to find the height and the base. So first we need to define the height and the base in terms of a, an unknown variable, let's call it x. And we also want to assign x to the smallest dimension. Since height is the smallest dimension, we're going to let x equal the height. And then, of course, since the base is 6 centimeters longer, then we can say that x plus 6 is equal to the base. So this is the height, and this is the base. So now you see that we have both the height and the base in terms of the unknown variable x. Now we need an equation to relate the height to the base and we're given the area. So we can say that the area of a triangle is equal to one half the height times the base or the base times the height. That's usually the way we say it. So well, let's do it the right way. Let's put base first and then the height. So it's one half the base times the height. Like this. And then of course we have the base and the height in terms of x and we know what the area is equal to. So we can say that 90 is equal to 1 half times the base. The base is x plus 6 and the height is equal to x. And now we have an equation, a quadratic equation, with the variable x. So first let's get rid of the 1 half. We're going to multiply both sides by 2. That means we get 180 is equal to x plus 6 times x. And now we can multiply what's on the right side. So we have 180 is equal to x squared plus 6x. And finally, we can bring the 180 across. So 0 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus, oh, not plus, because we bring that across, it becomes a minus, minus 180. And here we now have a quadratic equation, which of course we no longer have to fear because we have all kinds of good methods to solve that quadratic equation. Let's try the quadratic formula. So we can see here that 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So in this case, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, and c is equal to minus 180. And let's plug that into our quadratic formula, where we can say that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2 times a. So that means that x is equal to minus b, that would be minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, and times c, which is minus 180. And the whole thing divided by 2 times 1. All right. So that would be 720 plus 36, that would be 756. So x equals minus 6 plus or minus the square root of 756 all divided by 2. That means we have two possible answers. So first let's try the plus. So we have 756, we take the square root of that uh, and we subtract 6 from that, so minus 6 equals and then divide by 2 equals. So we have 10.75. So this is equal to 10.75 centimeters or if we take the negative value so we have 756, take the negative value, and uh, take the square root, negative value, and then add 6 to that, negative 6, divide by 2, and we get negative 16.75. So, or negative 16.75 centimeters. Now again, in this case, since we're dealing with a real problem, a triangle, x, which is the height, cannot be less than 0, it cannot be negative number, so negative number is not possible. So this is the only possible solution. So in this case, we could say that h, which is equal to x, which is equal to 10.75 centimeters. And that means that the base, which is equal to x plus 6, is equal to 6 more, or 16.75 centimeters. And then quickly, just to make sure we have it correct, that means that area equals 1 half the base times the height what is that equal to? So let's take 10.75 uh, and multiply that times 16.75 and divide by 2 and we get 90. And so it looks like 
This is indeed 90, which is the right value for square centimeters, of course. And that means we found the right height and we found the right base. And that is how it's done.